Hey guys, welcome to the series on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. The playlist with all the videos on MDE and Microsoft Defender for XDR is in the description box. In this chapter, we will see how to send files, emails, email attachments, URLs to Microsoft for further analysis. So what is this submissions feature? What can you do with this option in Microsoft Defender? And why is it required? So there are different ways to do this. We'll go through it one by one. Go to Microsoft Defender portal that is security.microsoft.com. In the main menu, go to actions and submissions. Click on it. You'll get the submissions tab. Click on submissions. And this is the submissions page. So let me go ahead and close this main menu. Like you can see here, there are different options to do it. You can submit emails, Teams messages, email at attachments, URLs, files, and user reported messages. So you can submit items in two ways. One is by the admin and one is by the user. This user reported one is for the users and these are for the admins. So when you see suspicious emails, URLs, attachments, or files, both users as well as admins have the option to report and submit them to Microsoft for further analysis. This will in turn help Microsoft in refining its detection mechanisms and reducing the need for extensive investigation and mitigation efforts. Say that a legit file or legit email message is marked as suspicious or malicious. That is, there is a false positive. You can submit those files messages to Microsoft for analysis and improve the detections. You can also submit some suspicious or malicious messages, URLs, files that have been allowed to Microsoft so that it can improve its detection again and block such kind of messages. Let's first see for files how it works. I'm going to click on files. And then there is an option called add submission. If I click on this, so when I click on it, it says we will review and use your submission to update our detections. Whenever you submit any information to Microsoft, like files, email attachments, it can be anything. Everything related to that submission is copied and included in ongoing algorithm reviews. This includes message content, headers, attachments, routing data, and any other associated information. So by making a submission, you're giving all the permission to Microsoft to analyze this information to enhance submission hygiene algorithms. So all of these submissions are stored in secure and audited data centers in the USA. They are also deleted when they are no longer necessary. Here you have the option to select the submission type. If I click on it, it is either through you can upload the file directly or you can provide the file hash. When I select the file hash value, I'm, I'm going to get a place where I can include the hash value here. For now, I will upload a file, a test file. It is giving me an option to upload a file. It also says the maximum limit is 500 MB. I'm going to click on browse files and I will select a test file that I've created. Say open. So if I scroll down from here, it gives me an option to select malware, unwanted software, clean. The file that I'm uploading should have been categorized as a malware. Okay. And it, it is clean. Or if it is identified as malicious, but it is actually a clean file. So I'm going to select clean. You can choose Choose one of these options based on your analysis. Let me say clean for now. So this is a false positive. It is identified as suspicious, but it is clean. That means it is a false positive that I'm submitting. Then it also tells you to choose the priority low, medium, high. High means you need immediate attention, medium standard submission, low bulk file or file hash submission. Uh, for high, only three are allowed per organization per day. I'm going to choose medium here. And the note for Microsoft, you can write anything that you want to add, but I'm going to say don't analyze 
it is a test file and if i scroll down there is also a check box which i can check for share feedback and relevant content with microsoft so by pressing this button i will agree to transmit data to microsoft including metadata contained in this file so for now i will go ahead and say share the feedback and then i will click on submit so it is giving me another pop up just to make sure that i'm sure that i want to submit this for microsoft to review it i'm going to say okay so once the submission is done it's going to tell you your submission has been submitted to microsoft for analysis we will get back to you with the result as soon as your submission has been analyzed and then i'm going to say done and refresh this here see now there is a submission name submission id submitted by whom date submitted and the reason for submitted submitting is it's because it's clean but it has been identified as malicious and then when i click on this so this is an example of submitting a file hash if i scroll down and says this submission is being reviewed it is also giving us recommended steps add indicators go hunt and all the other details so i'm going to go ahead and close this so that is how you submit a file or a file hash now let's try the same thing for emails so i'm going to again say submit to microsoft for analysis email submission type email url email attachment i'm going to go with email then it will ask you for network message id or to upload the email file network message id is a guid that is in the header of the message it is available as this value exchange organization network message id or if you are looking at a quarantined message it's going to appear as this filtering correlation id let's go back to the defender portal you can provide that or you can upload the file so there are two options how you can upload the details so then there is an option to choose at least one recipient who had this issue if you hover over this uh, icon and tells you that providing a single recipient is recommended we will assess their assigned policies to help determine why this happened and then there are options saying why are you submitting this message to microsoft because it is clean it appears clean so you can say i confirm that it is clean that you are sure that it is clean you are doubtful but it appears clean it appears suspicious or you confirm that it is a threat and then if you click on next and you can submit the entire message and then there is teams message the only way to submit a teams message to microsoft for analysis is to submit a user reported teams message so a user reported teams message will come under user reported tab and from here you can submit it so if you is i don't have any messages here but if you select that message the submit to uh, microsoft for analysis button will not be grayed out and you can select it select the drop box and say why you are submitting it is it clean is it a fish is it malicious you can do that here and then there is email attachments if i click on submit to microsoft for analysis email attachment you can browse that file and then again the same options that you will get confirm it's clean appears clean appears suspicious or confirm it's a threat i'm going to close this and then you can also submit urls if you click on submit to microsoft for analysis and then say select the submission type the url maybe i'll give it as example.com i confirmed it is clean it appears clean if i and then i submit it okay i'm going to close this as well and then something that we didn't discuss is user reported uh tab say that in your organization all the employees you can configure saying when they get a message email in outlook they can report it as fish junk and also the teams messages when they submitted so will appear here and once it comes here you can analyze it and then you can select that message and hit submit to microsoft for analysis for, for user reported there are settings that you need to set so if you see here it says user reported settings let me go to that you land here email and collaborations 
And then if you scroll down, it says monitor reported messages and outlook. So if you click on report built in report button, it will give you an option saying phishing junk and not junk for the users. And you can select that. And when a user reports an email as phishing junk or not junk, what should you do? Ask the user to confirm before reporting. You will get another pop-up message to confirm if you really want to submit it. And also show a success message after the message is reported. You can also customize these messages. And then there is use a non-Microsoft add-in button. You can also use a third-party add-in button to report messages. Then if you scroll down, it says Microsoft Teams can also be reported. Messages in Microsoft Teams can also be reported by the users. And then there is an option for reported message destination. Send reported messages to and there are options Microsoft only, my reporting mailbox only or Microsoft and my reporting mailbox. This is more of a Microsoft Defender for Office topic, but because we are here, I just wanted to cover it. And then there is an option to add an exchange online mailbox to send reported messages to. You can add your mailbox here or you can send it only to Microsoft. And then you can save. And then if I go back to this user reported tab, all the messages that are reported by the users will come here. And then the admin can again analyze it and send it to Microsoft or use this option saying mark as and notify where you can say no threats found phishing spam. You can take direct actions as well. The admins can take direct actions too. So this is how you do it from the submissions page. If you go now to the alerts and incidents page and then to alerts, you can submit it from here as well. So this is an example alert. I'm going to click on this. You see these three dots. If you click on those three dots, you can see that submit items to Microsoft for review. Whatever items are there in this alert, you can directly submit it. So again, I'm going to get the hash value or file option. It's easy for me to go with the file uh, hash value. I'm going to give the hash value. This is the same page, okay? But there is an other option which says include alert story. So this says this will attach a JSON file that will help our experts further investigate your submission. And then you click on submit. I'm going to close this. And there is another place where you can report it as well. If you go to the main menu and scroll down, go to email and collaboration. Click on review. Here you have quarantined emails and restricted entities. Like you can see restricted entities are those entities which have been blocked for sending too many messages marked as spam or bulk. And there is quarantine. Here you can review quarantine messages and decide whether you want to release them to one or more of the intended recipients. Now I'm going to click on this quarantine. I don't have any quarantine messages here, but if you do see these three buttons, you can click on more actions and click on more again. See this submit for review. You can submit for review from here as well. So these are the ways that you can do it from the Defender portal, but there is an also another way. I'm going to delete this. If you go to this URL. I'm going to link it in the description box. You can directly do it. So I'm going to copy this. So this is the submission uh, file. Submit a file for malware analysis. You can submit as home customer, enterprise customer. I'm going to select this as home customer for now. It will ask me to sign in. And then if you see here, it says submission is from me. Select the Microsoft product used to scan the file. You can select it from here. Microsoft antivirus, smart screen defender, smart app control. I'm going to go with antivirus. The company name. Do you have a Microsoft support case number? If you have created a ticket with Microsoft, then you can add that as well here. And then select the file from here. Once it is submitted, Microsoft will investigate it. And if they determine that the sample file is malicious. They will take corrective actions to prevent the malware from going undetected. And then if you scroll down, it also says, what do you believe this file is malware or malicious incorrectly detected as malware? So you can do it either way, false positives and false negatives. Is it a potentially unwanted application incorrectly detected as potentially unwanted application? You can give 
provide your notes and then hit continue so these are some of the ways how you can submit files email messages teams messages urls and email attachments for further analysis by microsoft so that they can change their detection algorithms so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching as usual if you have anything to say please leave a comment if there is any other feature that you want me to make a video on or any other tool that you want me to make a video on please let me know in the comment section if you like today's video please don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos that helps us a lot i will see you soon Bye bye